I do certainly believe that common people can influence their governments and government policies. However, it's, it's an uphill task and it does need strategic advocacy. It needs involvement of huge number of people. It means a lot of hard work in terms of mobilizing people. However, once you have done all this, then you end up getting certain results. Uh, very often, I would also say, interests articulated by the common people do then get translated into actions by their uh, respective states, not only at the national level, but also at the global level. However, I would be, you know, apprehensive, or rather to be more precise, I would say that uh, I would be uncomfortable uh, drawing a linkage between people's local protests and global development agenda. So that does not happen. And in fact, that's one of the reasons why you now see a much larger global civil society coming up. Because at the local level, citizens have felt disempowered with this entire globalization uh, phenomena. People at the local level feel that uh, they do not have a say in their own uh, governance structures, in, in the life that they lead. And therefore, increasingly civil society, which, which is uh, often a, a, a vehicle for uh, people's protest, is now building alliances which go beyond the national boundaries. So examples like, say, for Greenpeace, uh, uh, Greenpeace it's just run a very, very successful uh, campaign. I'm sure you, you're aware of it against the, uh, the BT uh, the Brinjal. Yeah. So, so you have these campaigns, and I think that without the backing, which uh, probably Greenpeace through its global network brought in, uh, we would have not seen such a successful campaign. You know, there are lots of groups in India working on environmental issues and they do an immense lot of work, immense lot of good work. But these global linkages have been extremely helpful. Uh, so I, I would really uh, say that the new forms of civil society that we see are very crucial in now shaping the global developmental agenda. So, so, so maybe I, I would just add and, and say that we probably need to now, and, and one of the things that I do, I'm, I'm also a member of the Global Call to Action Against Poverty, what we need to do is to more systematically connect and build alliances of the local uh, civil society with the global civil society.